Hi everybody, welcome. It's uh, Dean Wolf, and we're going to do another progressive rock guitar lesson. It's Rush. This uh, this is just standard tuning. Um, we're going to start right off the bat with the... Um, oh, by the way, the solos I'm not going to teach in this video. It'll be a separate um, video, and once I've done it, it will be in the description box below. You'll see the link to the video uh, with the solos for this song. So. Let's start with the verse. So we're going to start off with the G string. Basically, we're working on the top three strings here. First, second, and third string, okay? It's sort of like you're playing a G chord, but you're fingering the D and the G here. That's sort of our um, ground zero. But there's some uh, fiddling around here. We're going to explain that right now. It goes like this. So that's this part. So um, let's break it down into a little chunk. So uh, you got your third string open, second string, third fret, and then on the first string you're pulling off. You're going to start on the one to the open. So you're going. Hold on, I got a tune. Sorry, I had to tune, so I lost my spot. So we're going G, third string, and then third fret of the second, and then pull off from the one, and hit third again here. So let's... So you kind of want to keep your third finger planted here on the third fret and the second string. The other uh, string, we're going to be moving around a bit. But... So the cadence is sort of da 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 like that. So, uh, yeah, that little part I gotta show you. So you go. So you pull off again there, and then you pull off here. So that's third and f first fret on the second string, so. So practice that over and over. You want to get that part down. Now, when you learn the next um, segment, you're going to keep this C down here. Your C note, your B string, first fret. Now we're on to the fourth string, third fret. And then we're on to the G string here, third string, uh, third fret. And then you're fretting the first fret and the first two strings. So basically the chord is this, which is a sus2. That would be a, a B, is that a B flat? Yeah, that's a B flat, sus2. So again, I'll just show you how that joins together. Oops. And the cadence of that is... Now you can hammer on there or pick it. I, I usually hammer on. So say if you're playing a bar chord F sharp, or F, sorry. So you're just going from a B flat sus to, to an F. That's basically what the transition is there. So again, from the top. Thank you. 
that should be enough info there for you to work on if you need to rewind and nail that down go ahead now we move to the chords which are very basic so we got a G minor and then a C sus2 and then a B flat sus2 so the C and the B flat are, of course are based on the fifth string root note here okay C that's your bar chord starting on the C so It does that a few times and then it moves up uh, I guess you would call it modulates up a whole tone so it's basically instead of a G minor you're going to an A minor and you're playing the same kind of uh, pattern but a D sus2 and a C sus2 So again, it's a G, mi G minor there. And so on, and then you go to um, an E flat sus2 up here, then an F, then an E again, the E flat, and then a C, and then it goes back to this part again. And then there's the um, chorus, which is, um, I'm not sure the name of this chord, I'll flash it on the screen though. Basically it's a, it's a D major, but you're adding um, this note here. And play all six strings, do a full bar chord on here. And then it's a, a minor. Now this is, this part I know, if I were a guitarist in a band, I would be frustrated with this part because all that, Alan, uh, all that um, Alex gets to play is, well, it's just a note. Now, um, so basically that's an octave. We'll just look at the uh, the bass note here and you can figure out the octave. It's basically two frets up, th two strings down, right? It's, that's A. So it's, uh, let's see. So you start off from the B, to the A, to the G, and then the A again, G, F, E, and D. So basically it's a single note with an octave. And then you move to this chord again, the, what did we call this, a E flat, E flat sus2, then the F, and uh, it goes to this chord um, just before the solo part. This is sort of how it opens up that section. So you're on the D sus2, rather than going down here again. And so on. Okay, so this is the different thing that he does at the end. Alex plays in a different key, but it's sort of the same kind of riff that he opens the song with. And as a chord, this would be the chord, basically. A C, an A, an open D, an open E. So he's, uh, 
You don't necessarily even have to work on the third string here. He kind of goes just straight to the D string, the fourth string, and then the C. So that's what he does at the end. Open D. You're fretting the first fret on the second string. Then open E. Third and second there. And then that's a pulling off there from the third to the first to the second to the open. And back. So that's it. That's the lesson. Like I say, the description box will include a link to the solos once they are done. And if you don't find it down there, sorry, it's not done yet. Um, thanks for watching the lesson and I uh, hope you learned something great and can keep on playing guitar. Guitar is awesome. We all love guitar and we all love Rush. So take care, everybody. It's Dean signing off. Bye now.